the great silence. Why the universe ignores us welcome back? Today we will discuss the silence in our universe. The night sky is filled with stars, billions of them. Around many of those stars are planets, and some of those planets may look a lot like Earth. So here's the question. Where is everybody? Why haven't we heard a single word from the universe? No signals, no spacecraft, not even a hint that someone out there knows we exist. This is what scientists call the Great Silence, and it's one of the most disturbing mysteries in all of science. Could it be that intelligent life is rare or worse? Could it be that intelligence doesn't survive? Today, we're unpacking this eerie quiet, why the universe seems to be ignoring us, and what it might mean for our future. The Fermi Paradox. Where are they? The Great Silence is more than just poetic. It's the name we give to the contradiction between our expectations and our reality. Based on what we know about astronomy, there should be millions, maybe billions of intelligent civilizations out there. We found thousands of exoplanets. At Many sit in the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, just right for liquid water. The math seems to scream. Life should be everywhere. This contradiction was first formalized by physicist Enrico Fermi, who famously asked during a lunch conversation, Where is everybody? That one question launched decades of speculation and scientific inquiry. If life is common, why don't we see any signs of it? No radio signals, no megastructures, no alien probes. Just silence. The zoo hypothesis. Are we being watched? One of the more philosophical theories is the zoo hypothesis. The idea that alien civilizations know we rehear, but they're deliberately avoiding us. It's like humans observing animals in a nature reserve. Perhaps they're watching from afar, waiting for us to evolve or destroy ourselves. In this view, Earth is a kind of cosmic protected zone. Maybe we're too primitive. Maybe interference is forbidden. If true, it would mean we're not alone, but also not in control. It raises deep questions. Would we even know we were being observed? What would qualify us to be contacted? And are we, in fact, the animals in someone else's grand experiment? The filter. Something stops civilizations and other. Much darker theory is called the Great Filter. The idea is simple and terrifying. Somewhere on the path from life to intelligent life to spacefaring civilization is a wall something so hard to overcome that almost no one makes it past. This filter could be behind us something like the leap from single cell to complex organisms. If that's true, we're lucky miraculous even. But if the filter lies ahead of us, and something awful might await all advanced civilizations. Nuclear war. Environmental collapse. Rogue AI. In that case, the silence isn't comforting, it's a warning. Graveyard of civilizations that got too far too fast, or early, or alone. Then there is the theory that we re-simply early. Like the first ones to show up to a cosmic party that hasn't tea started yet. Maybe intelligent life takes billions of years to arise. Maybe we're the first lucky species to reach this level of technology. If that's true, then it's our responsibility to lead the way. To preserve our knowledge and to avoid the mistakes others might eventually make. But the lonelier version of this idea is more unsettling. What if we're not early? Just alone? Oh. What if Earth is the one rare exception in an otherwise lifeless universe? That would make us extraordinarily special. Enormously vulnerable. The silence is our fault. There's also the possibility that the silence isn't there doing its ours. We've only been sending radio signals for about a century. For most of that time, those signals were weak and unfocused. The universe is vast and signals fade. So even if there's life out there, they may not know we exist. On top of that, we're not exactly shouting anymore. Many of our technologies now use fiber optics or satellites that don't leak signals into space. We may have gone quiet before we were ever loud enough to be heard. Plus, listening is hard. Projects like SETI have scanned only tiny portions of the sky at limited frequencies. Listening for alien life is like putting a glass to the wall and hoping to hear a whisper in a stadium. Maybe the universe is just quiet. There's also a simpler explanation. Maybe the universe is just quiet. Intelligent life might be rare. Technological civilizations might be shlived. The cosmic distances might be too great for any kind of meaningful contact. It's not an exciting answer, but it might be the truth. In a universe that spans 93 billion light years, 
Even a galaxy bustling with life could feel empty. What does this mean for us? So what should we take away from this? Whether the silence is a warning, a mystery, or an illusion, it forces us to confront who we are and what we're doing. If the great filter lies ahead, we must be cautious. If it's behind us, we should feel lucky. And if we're alone, we carry a burden to make sure intelligent life doesn't vanish with us. The silence of the universe is haunting. But it also means we have space, space to grow, space to survive, and space to make our voice heard. Eventually, conclusion, stay curious. So why does the universe ignore us? We don't know. But in searching for answers, we discover more about ourselves, our hopes, our fears, and our place in the cosmos. If you found this exploration as intriguing as we did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments. Are we truly alone? Or are we just not ready to hear the answer? Even in silence, the universe has something to say. Stay curious, and see you in the next video. Always intrigued.